Today on Arts for Life Virtual Studio, we're going to be making an origami blinking eye. Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need to make it and walk you through step by step. My name is Kara and I'm an art teacher with Arts for Life in Asheville, North Carolina at Mission Hospital. I'm here today to show you how to make an origami blinking eye. Thanks for tuning in to our virtual studio where we believe that art is for everyone. So to make this origami blinking eye, here is what you will need. First, you will need a plain piece of paper. Printer paper works great. You will also need a ruler, scissors, a permanent marker, a pencil, and something to color with. I have oil pastels, or you can use colored pencils, and that's it. Should be pretty simple. Now I'm going to turn the camera around and show you how to make it. See you in a second. Okay, here we are with our materials for our origami blinking eye. You will need scissors, a ruler, a pencil, a permanent marker, and something to color with. These are oil pastel sticks. They're wonderful for a rich color. If you don't have oil pastels, you could use colored pencils. Markers are okay, but I would prefer uh, oil pastels or colored pencils. The most important thing you'll need is a, a piece of paper. So this is just printer paper. If you have white origami paper, that works, but I would just go with printer paper. It's very simple. So let's get started. I'll move my materials aside. Okay, so you just take your piece of plain paper and first thing we're gonna do is make it into a square. So take one corner and notice this edge here. We're taking this edge and we're going to line it up with this edge of the paper. So we fold it over. Now notice how the edges line up right there. I'm going to hold it, press down in the middle, and when I'm sure that the edges line up, I'll make my crease by sliding my finger across the folded edge right there. So now you'll notice you have this extra little strip of paper here. So we're going to cut that off. We don't need that. And if you're very little, you might ask for an adult to help with this part. This is the only part we need the scissors for, so you can just set aside your scissors. Okay. So now we're going to open our paper back up and you can see we have a diagonal crease. We wanna make another diagonal crease. So you're going to take the bottom right of your paper, put it to the top left of your paper. Line up those corners. Put your finger in the middle here and then slide it to each side to make your crease. Now we're gonna open up our paper again and we have an X in the middle of our paper. The place where those two creases come together is where we're aiming for with this next step. I'm gonna take the bottom left of my paper and put it to the very middle crisscross point. Make my crease. Now you're gonna do that on the opposite side. Now we're gonna do all four corners. If it doesn't line up exactly, like right there, it may mean that your paper is not exactly square, and that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to work. We just wanna make an eye that blinks. Okay, now open up two of those, and we're going to turn our paper like this. And then we're going to take this bottom edge, fold it to the middle line, like that. Now we're going to take the top edge, fold it to the middle line, and crease like this. 
All right. Next, we're going to open everything up. So you have a lot of lines on your paper. We're going to take the bottom part, and it was pointed out. We're going to tuck it in on that same crease. Also take the top. It was pointed out. We're going to tuck it in. If this is going too fast, feel free to pause and back up anytime you need. So we have those tucked in. Now we're going to fold them in one more time. And what this does is leave us a place to do our eye. So we're going to take a pencil. The area that we're going to use is right in here. Just like this is the middle of the eye, this is the iris, the part that is the colored part of the eye. So start up here and make a mark here. And we're going to go ahead and make a circle with your pencil. Just do your best circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now that is going to be the iris, the part of the eye that has the color to it. In the middle of the iris is the black part of the eye that is called the pupil. That's what we see out of. So then you can make a circle for that. If you want, you could stop short of a circle like a letter C and then make a little letter C inside of that. That's going to make a cool like shine on the eye. It makes it look a little three dimensional. Now I'm going to grab my permanent marker. It's best for this if you if you have a table that you don't want to mark up, maybe just slip another piece of paper under there to protect the table. Now we're going to outline the pupil with our permanent marker or you can just use a regular dark color marker and then I'll color it in. And you can make this eye like your eye or you can make it like somebody else. So somebody you admire, a friend, a hero of yours, just any, any eye. So you can just think about that when you're coloring your eye and when you're picking your colors for the eye. So there's the outline. I'll make it a little thicker. Like this. And again, this piece of paper underneath is just to protect the table. All right, so it looks like we're about ready to add color to our eye. I am going to start with that and show you some techniques. Here's one that I've already finished. So I can show you how to make it kind of like this. Just gonna open this up so you can see what I've already done. Um, we're going to start, pick, um, I'm gonna pick the color brown. We're gonna start from the outside. And we're gonna draw it. So whatever color eye you're using, just pick any of the colors that you wanna start from the outside. Um, and I'll start with little lines going toward the middle. Because if you really look in someone's eyes, if you have someone next to you, maybe you can look in their eyes, you'll see that it's not a solid color, not like um, an apple. Well, everything is all different little, little bits of color. But you'll notice that everyone's eye is a little bit of several colors. And it's blended together. So what we're going to do is color little lines in to give it some texture from the outside. When I get close to this part, I'm going to give it a little space, leave a little white area there. Then I might do some coloring this way across the lines. And then I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to get this yellowish color. And those lines, I'm going to start from the inside and come to the outside. And again, I leave a little white space around that letter C. And we just keep going until you've covered up most of the white, 
You don't have to cover all of it up because every eye has a little bit of shine to it. And then I might add a little bit of black lines coming in. See how that looks more interesting than if we just colored the whole thing one color? We get a lot more variation this way. All right, I'm happy with my eye. How's yours turning out? All right, so let's see. I'm gonna take this paper out from underneath. That was just for the marker. We're ready to fold, go to the next step. So for the next step, we're going to, remember these were folded in, we're gonna fold them back in, and cover up what we just colored. Now we're gonna flip the whole thing over. Look, you can see your eye from the back. That's pretty cool. There's some little creases here, but what we're doing is taking the point here and going to the very middle. Um, there is a little crease in the very middle of your eye from the when we were first folding our paper. But anyway, you take this point to the very middle and you'll see it will fold right along that little crease that you made in the beginning. Okay, and then take this back out. And what we wanna make sure is that these are kind of coming together right there in the middle. Mine are just a second apart, but that's close enough. Okay, this right next, the next step is the trickiest part. So I'll go slow. What we're doing is the way to make your eye blink. So when you look at the front, it blinks like this. So we're folding our paper to make it blink. Okay, so to show where we're going to fold, you need a ruler and your pencil. I'm making, there's a point right here at the very middle on both of the sides. And then there's a point right here in the very middle. And I'm making, take my ruler and make a line between those points. Can you see it? Right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw on it. And then let's just draw that line everywhere it needs to be. So also on the bottom right side, and then we'll also do it at the top. Let me make that big dot. All right, on the top, we're doing the right middle spot to the top middle spot. And right here too, on the left middle to the top. So see, those are some extra lines on your paper. Now I'm gonna take the right bottom corner, fold it in right along, that's gonna be the inside of the crease, see? Right there. Now, do the top. And see, I folded right along that line. There we go, like this. Okay, bottom left, fold along that line. I can almost feel where I drew with the pencil that the paper wants to fold there. It kind of remembers things. Paper is really smart. Okay, and then I've got this. Now let's see what happens when we turn it over. It, let's see, does it blink? It blinks. So if you take your two hands, you're pinching here, turn it over, and move your hands together. You blink, 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 blink. Okay, I'm having too much fun. All right, the next part is where we're going to draw the outside of the eye. So grab your marker and we're going to do some eyelashes. Draw right across, right close to that inside line, but we don't want to draw in the middle of it. We don't want to get it on the color, colorful part of the eye. And draw down below it. And then do some eyelashes. I make mine kind of curved up. Curve them up on the top. Short ones, long ones. Does your eye have really long eyelashes or just little short ones? And then do the same on the bottom. All right, so now for the last step. And again, I'll get that scrap piece of paper out to protect the table. We are gonna do the outside of the eye, which would be the skin color. 
So, making skin color is not the easiest thing in the world. Whenever you only have what comes in an oil pastel or colored pencil box, they just give you a few little colors that might work for skin color. So the best way to make a skin color that looks like yours or like the person that you're trying to draw is to layer them or to just do one on top of the other. So just for an example, here are some that I did. These are the three colors that I used to do this color and so on. So you can see the colors I used to make each skin color and that's because None of us are really the colors that come in the box. Actually, some people might be just exactly like this, but it's very rare. All, most of us are a little bit different um, blends of colors. And so if you wanna make it look like a person, then you can blend. I'll show you a little snippet of that. If you have your extra little piece of paper there, feel free to grab it if you wanna practice. So for this skin color, let's practice like just make a brown block. I'm going to make it kind of like this top one. Then I grabbed a yellowish color and I'll just color on top of that. And then if I'm like, that's not quite right, you can use the black one, but draw really lightly because this one will cover everything. So just some light little lines there. And if you're like, that's not quite right, you can go back to one of these other colors or you can use a new color. And just color on top. The more you layer your colors, the, the more rich and pretty it will be. And just play. And it, it's okay if it doesn't look exactly the way that our real skin looks because we're way more complicated than just a box of crayons. And all of us are beautiful the way that we are. Here is what my eye looked like when I finished layering the colors. So, and it's, it can blink. There's a blinking guy. All right, did you finish yours? Then yay, we made our blinking eyes. Feel free to take your time. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll meet you to say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to the Arts for Life virtual studio today. I hope you enjoyed creating with me. Here's my finished origami blinking eye. Yours is going to be special and unique just like you. If you'd like to show us what you made, you can comment below uh, with your picture. And remember, art is for everyone.